Hey everybody, Captain Vapor here. I had a friend come up to me yesterday asking me about cargo tanks and how to fill them and how to prime them. Um, a lot of people like to use the condom method or they'll drip into it, they'll fill the cardo and then they'll put it into the tank and they'll fill the tank. I don't do that. There's a lot easier way to be able to prime it. Uh, but first thing you do is get yourself a brand new cardo. This is brand new. I already took it out of the package. And what you're going to have on here is two, two things uh, called condoms. One short, one long. You can see that. You go ahead and you take them off. And when you take them off the cardo, you're going to see oh, you're going to see this little mouthpiece that's inside. You go ahead and uh, use a fingernail or screwdriver, paper clip, or whatever that you want to do. Go to get it out. Once you get it out, the thing is just garbage. So you don't need that anymore. Okay, and that's what it'll look like on the inside of the cardo. Now today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Cineac tank. Love this tank. You can see it's got a little handprint with a paw print on it, and I've got Mac written on the back of it, which is my dog. Uh, love my dog. Now what you're going to do is, uh, I've got this tool right here, and this is a Slap Yo Mama tool from BigDaddyVapor.com, and I love this tool. This tool is life safe. But what you do is you go ahead and you're going to pop this into the cardo just like that. Okay, you're going to set that down for a minute, you're going to take your tank breaker, and you're going to take the cap off the top of it, this is a Finiac, so sometimes it's really hard to get out, but if you notice, the Finiac's got real thick glass, and it's a meal glass, you can drop this thing and it won't break, trust me, I know, I've already dropped it, I actually dropped it at Bait Bash while I was there, and uh, right onto the, hard, onto the hard floor, and uh, didn't even scratch it. So, now that you have that off, what you're going to do, is you're going to take your cardo with your little tool right here. You're going to stick it in. I would stop dropping it. You're going to take it. You're going to push it into the cardo. You're going to push it all the way until it's even right there. Just like that. And then uh, we'll take your juice. And, uh, take up real quick. So we'll take your juice. And then what you're going to do, and this is the easiest way to prime a cardo that I have found without having to sit there and wait for the cardo to saturate. Take it and fill it with juice. Some thick juice, 50 50 PG PG. But you'll go pretty close to about 80%. And what you're doing is you're trying to look at it pretty close to where the cap would be with just a little bit of an air pocket. The reason you're going to do that is we're going to use physics to our advantage. Okay? Go ahead and put a couple more drops in there. And that's about where you want to be. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slide that cap on over it. And then you're going to use your fingernails to get to the bottom of that cardo so it doesn't move. Now if you watch carefully, when I push this cap down, you're going to see the fluid go down like so. Now your cardo is completely saturated. Now what you do is you uh, take your little tool here and you push down on it like so, until it gets into the tank, just like that. Now, you can put your uh, fluid in there, put the tip of uh, your bottle in there, and you can go ahead and fill all the way to the top, just like that. And you'll go ahead and you'll push this up, and then push the flush, just like you need to see. Push it back to flush. I usually use my fingernail on the bottom right here. Just so I can push the flush with the cap. Get myself a paper towel. Wipe the excess off. And then, uh, since your O-rings are a little lubricated from the juice, it will be a little slippery. I usually just kind of grab it, take this, and I'll just wiggle it, pull, so it pops out. Go ahead and wipe off the top. Make sure everything is nice and dry on top right there, and go ahead and we're going to set that down, take your little tool, because it's going to be wet and have the fluid in there, you're going to wipe that off, go ahead and put that off to the side, and then you're going to take your tank, take your drip tip, put that in there, after, uh, excuse me, no, 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 no. but uh, you go ahead and pop your drip tip in there, wait, I don't know, three, four, 
maybe five minutes, the O-rings that were lubricated with the e-liquid will actually uh, push the liquid out and it'll dry the O-rings and the O-rings will actually sit tighter on the car dust. And then uh, what you can do is uh, this on the micro very right here. And uh, this is actually a bow, low resistant cardo. Got that from electronic stick. I like to buy them because they're already pre drilled. Let me go power up. Um, this thing's about 2 ohms. I like the base at about 4.4 volts. Let that set in. And go ahead and have it. instantly saturated. I didn't have to play with nothing, I didn't have to fight with anything, I didn't have to wait for it to saturate whatsoever. As long as you do that the first time, you automatically fill the cardo. Now when you continue to vape it, you see the air bubbles come up from the hole of the cardo. And what that's doing is the liquid's going in and the air is just replacing the liquid. You just all you gotta do is vape it. After that you just do a normal fill like you would do after you saturated the cardo and you just continue to do that until the cardo is no good. Well, this is Captain Vapor and that's the easiest way to be able to prime your cardo and fill your tank. Have yourself a happy vacation.